What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Lizard Boy here. And today I'm going to do a figure review on the new Shin Gojira Bandai Japan 6 Edge. I actually absolutely love this figure because it's the new Godzilla and this is straight from Japan. I mean, come on people. That's awesome that, Cho that Toho is making their Godzilla movie. And this is the figure for it though. And I actually like it though. To be honest though, it's pretty nice. And this freaking tail, I mean, as you can see, it's long and you can see the tip. It's interesting that like what they show though, everyone's saying it's dead people, like the bones and stuff. I mean, I do see bones, but I don't know why it's like that though. I mean, I have to see the movie just to find out though. I think mean, it's interesting what they show. And you see around the dorsal plates how it goes, how it goes, how it goes. All the way up. And yes, I still do have the tag on mine. Because I'm not taking that off. I think the tag is awesome. And you see the dorsal plates. I kind of red, like really red around the sides. And... They show a lot of red. Most people say they don't get a lot of red on their spines. I do, which is weird. And you just see the colorness of the entire suit of Godzilla. It's completely black. And we don't get that much color. We just get like a reddish orange. Including the front though, like his chest. Like it sees right here. And you get a little whiteness. Like you see his eyes. I don't know if you can tell. Like white, like the GMK Godzilla. Like they just pure white, but you do see a little bit of pupils in the movie trailer. Uh, don't get that much color. The arms, they do rotate. And so the legs, like that, which is pretty cool. The tail, I didn't expect that much the tail to move though. Seen the mouth. I mean, if you can tell the mouth, because you got that, it's still got the little bit of the jagged teeth like it does in the trailer poster, though, too, which is pretty cool. And you feel like it feels like to me that it feels so rough, like his skin and everything, though. I mean, I think it's pretty cool how it is. And this is from Japan, which is pretty awesome. My didn't came like in a special box or anything like that. It just came like in a regular package wrapped in plastic, basically. Um, not much. Like it's kind of a rough skin, like he is. The front, you kind of see the front on his chest. It's like rib cage. I mean, it's weird how it is. Hmm. Uh, and the the tag, the tag's awesome. I like the tag. It looks like the movie poster, and the inside is a mumbo jumbo. I can't read. Backside is pretty cool, and what's pretty interesting is, I don't know if you can see that little gold thing right there. That's supposed to be the 1962 Godzilla, and this is the 2016. I mean, doesn't someone then come with it? On the other side, you get the exact same thing, reddish. On his dorsal plates, arm rotates. I mean, this figure is pretty cool. I really do hope to get the 12. There is a 12 inch figure that I do hope to get, and it's a lot bigger. And I hope to get the SH Monster Arts one, which I've seen pictures of that, and that looks pretty cool. And now they're saying that there's a Monster A and B. I am not getting those because those look actually weird and I doubt they actually look like Godzilla at all. But um I like this figure. This is pretty cool. I hope you guys actually pick this up if you really love or into Godzilla. But um I do uh, it's kinda weird how it it's kinda weird how it is though. I can see the feet bottom. Bumbo jumbo stuff. I mean, we should all be happy like this came out though, because it's Godzilla, and I'm really excited 
I'm really happy this is. And this is, pr it's interesting how it's style he is, though. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more reviews. And make sure you actually hit that like button. Subscribe today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.